going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Gold time. Yeah, take Farms of Gold. Today, we've got 13 PC mods in testing. We got 18 console mods in testing. With all those 15 mods, were released today. Agritono's got new screenshots of their Case IH Formal. Custom modding are adding a new liquid tank. Ulse FS has some new screenshots of their MB truck. Peter 716's new map is out, but there's already one problem. Plus, Mr. Hector has new buildings for his new map. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Agrimat Jouar U238, Agri Park Wade Pack, Camara RT16, Greena Slurry Tank, Empty Pallets Production, Orchard ZT300, John Deere Carpet, Lizard Dump Trailer, Neater Saxon 21, Old Timers Farm, Poppy Plains, Ravensburg, and Small Sawmill. In testing for consoles, we have the Amazon D1, Barn with Chicken Coop, Floss Liner 500 Profile, Digestate Selling Point, Garage for Machine. John Deere 500 Grain Card, John Deere 8110, 8410, Lizard 6000, Lizard BT 9700, Lizard MP 480, Lizard TT 3621, Multi Fruit Market, Pack of Fences, Ravensburg, Seasons Geo, Ravensburg Console, The Plantation, Valtra T Series, and Water Source. With all that being said, we still have 11 mod city waiting to be tested. However, the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is six work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 15 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub, including the KFM Chem Tanks. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Taking our way into today's top stories, and we start with Agritono and their Case IH Farmall Series 100A, saying that we'll have options for different cabs or a platform only, same as their T6. It will also have optional weights too. They will be adding the front hydraulics, different shades of glass for the cabin, and the interior will be modded after Brazilian version. However, there will be an option for a normal interior if you want that as well. They finished by saying that they're working on other updates, including the F-350, saying that it will not pass this week, but they will get it done as soon as they can. Custom modding teases their upcoming Case IH 2150 Early Riser Planter 24 row 60 foot version with new screenshot and the addition of a new tank, the Borgo LFC 2400 liquid fertilizer cart, both for all platforms. They say that the fertilizer cart was one of the most requested features since the announcement of the planter, so they're going to add it. In addition to all of the features that we already know about the 2150 series planters, Custom Modding will be bringing new things to the mod, like the new tanks that you can see on the wings, those white tanks, a new central tank in the middle, and of course, the new liquid fertilizer kit overall. Stay tuned as I will have one more video today thanks to Custom Modding showing off their Dimco 22 series rain cart, which will be coming soon. Thank you again to Customonic for sending that over and sending over the big 4K version for the mod to showcase. You rock. Also FS says that their MB truck is getting there. Here you can see new tank options for fuel and a few smaller tanks on the sides. This mod is being worked on right now, but Hulse wants to make sure everything is perfect first time, so they are taking their time with it. I will update you once more information is announced. Peter 716's map Newbrick Farm is out now for all platforms, and along with that, one issue has already been found on the map. The two covered silage pits on the main farm will not fully empty. If you are on PC, of course you can use the F11 mod to clear the tip area, but if you're on console, you may have to resort to landscaping, or you may not be able to get them to fully empty at all. This is an issue that will be fixed with the next update. And if you find any other problems or issues with the map, make sure you check out Peter716 linked in the description below and let him know. And lastly today, Mr. Hector talks about some buildings being made for his upcoming map. He says that he does have a few classic Slovak houses for the map to accompany the modern looking houses from the Felsburn map. He may be using some more color variants of these as well in the end, and he's already got a few of them being worked on. Now that these are all done, he can finally start building the villages, which will take some time, but will be a major step forward for the map, since so much is dependent on the villages. And my clever segues to the outro are dependent on how much Linus Tech Tips I've watched in the past 24 hours. That's where I get my inspiration. <laughs> Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, 
I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Hey. Found my sunglasses. They were in the bottom of a box. Why?